Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to you, my YouTube channel, um, C++ Beginner's Tutorial Guide thing. Anyway, following on from our last episode where we learnt about console out and hello world. Just open up the same project so we can just add to it basically. We're gonna we're gonna remove some lines and um, just learn about operators this time and um, make it like a, a very very basic calculator type thing. Alright. So let's get into it. We'll delete this line. Well you can comment it out actually. I didn't teach you this about comments last time, I was meant to. A comment is two forward slash like this. This is a single line comment. Alright, and then we have a multi-line comment, just like that. So this is a multi-line comment. Pretty straightforward stuff. Um, the compiler will read everything until it hits there, and then it will skip that, 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 and then it will start reading again. So anything behind these, or in between, behind this one, or in between this one, it will not read it whatsoever. So I could have code here, and it will read it, but it won't read anything from here to here. Alright, so comments are pretty straightforward. Love them, hate them, they're, they're good especially if you need to explain what you're doing so for example I could just throw a comment here saying this pauses the console window in Windows computers window computers window computer yeah so basically that's that's what a comment does basically you just use it you're just writing in our, our type of speech so you can understand what it does later on all right moving on we've got integers I explained a little bit about integers last time basically an int uh, pretend you have a box an empty box and an integer you're going to assign a value to it first you give it a name say num and then we go equals this is assignment value and we're just gonna make it equal to zero for now but an integer, so num is like a box, and we've just put zero into the box. The computer has just made a box called num, and it's given a value of zero. So the computer is basically allocating some memory to this variable called num, which is an integer. Okay? So, yep. And if you remember, integers are whole numbers, and then we have doubles, which are... So a double, we'll just call it, I don't know, decimal, which will equal 1.245, like that, you know. A, a double can have any any type of decimal points after it, and it will actually save that and uh, give it back to you. Whereas an int, if you do that, it won't be, it won't throw up an error. I'm pretty sure it won't anyway, but uh, you, you can test that. You know, play it, see what happens. It might throw you an error. Uh, I know that it will delete this or it will um, store it in its buffer, which can cause an error. So it's best just to keep it as whole numbers like 9 or, or like that. All right? We'll just make it a 0. We'll delete fl uh, the double. You can also have float, though. Float is just like double. And it can it can have a decimal point, just like the double, but the float has a precision of seven. So point and then seven digits after it is uh, it is its is its uh, precision level. Whereas a double can have a precision of up to fifteen. So basically, with a float, as soon as you go past seven uh, decimal digits, it starts it can start getting incorrect whereas the double after 15 digits it can start getting it will start getting dis, uh, incorrect as well so double is a lot more precise and also doubles hold a lot more numbers uh, float holds a fair fair amount of numbers um, double a double can hold up to 10 to the power of 308 whereas a float can hold only to uh, 10 to the power of 38 
So yeah, you can see the see the difference. Whereas um, uh, integers can only hold up to two billion. Anyway, moving on, we'll make two two integers. So we'll have num one and num two. We'll assign them both to zero, just like that. So assignment operator is this equal sign. One equal sign equals assignment. So basically, we're saying zero num num two is now equal to zero. That's assignment. It's back to front from um, like how you would do normal maths, like uh, say one plus two equals three. It's back to front, so it's three equals one plus two. All right, so one. The, pretend at first when the first when the computer starts reading it, it'll go int num one equals zero. So it'll go int num one equals zero at the moment. And then say this is 2, he'll go, int num 1, okay, this is 0. And then it goes, oh, here's an assignment. Oh, it's 2. Okay, this is now 2. You get me? So pretty straightforward, the equals. And then we have a couple more operators. So we have plus, obvious, obvious stuff, uh, subtracts, minus, times is an asterisk key. Um, and then we have division, divide which is just one forward slash, and then we have modulus, or mods, something like that. Um, and it gives uh, the remainder. So I'll just quickly go over the division and mods. So say you have two divided by three would equal two, correct? Whereas the mods would have two mod three would equal one because oh no that's wrong sorry my bad that should equal one <laughs> that should equal two because two can only go into three once and you get a remainder of two no oh god yeah my mathematics is pretty crappy sometimes having a having a blank I'm sorry I'm sorry but um you get my point though uh, division division gives you the actual what it goes into it does not give you the remainder of whatever the remainder is the mod will give you only the remainder but it will not give you what it actually is the division the division you don't need to really mo worry about mods at the moment they're a bit more out there uh, for now we're just learning about plus and subtract and learning how to make a, a very quick calculator. So we'll go back to zero. Uh, there's also and n. This is another operator. Uh, and n requires two arguments, so one there and one there, and both arguments have to be true. If one is false and one is true, then the and then it will be the whole thing will be false. Um, if uh, both is false, it'll be false. If both are true, it'll be true. Alright? Then with or, or is the straight line up and down like this. One can be true and one can be false and the whole uh, argument will be true. If both are false, then um, the argument is false. If both are true, the argument is true. So, yeah, there, there's those. We're not going to be using them right now. I'll probably explain more about them later on when we get to it. For now, we'll just we'll just keep moving, you know. So right now, we're just using two integers with num1 and num2, and we're assigning it the value of 0. You should always assign when you create them because um, the compiler can give you some pretty funky um, errors or it can just assign a random number there and your output whenever you do decide whenever you make the output can give you a random value which you were not expecting all right so we're going to go go ahead and do what we learnt last uh last video so see out and we're going to just type in uh you can type in whatever i'm just going to type in enter first number all right just like that and then i might throw no I'll just do it like that, and now, and now I'm going to get the user input for num1. So if you remember, it's just sin, and then the opposite of uh, the opposite greater than equal sign signs to the c out, and then num1, just like that. 
easy stuff and then we just do it again and we go enter second number always put a space if you're gonna if you're not gonna end the line or else it'll just cram up I'll actually leave it like that just for demonstrational purposes and then we just want to go num two all right all right so that's set so now what the console is going to do is it's going to ask for the first number the user you are going to input the first number and then it's going to ask for the second number and then you're going to input the second number and now we can make a another int called total now with this this one you can just have it like that all right you can just do it like that and then you can go total equals num1 plus num2 just like that or so that's one way you can do it just like that or you could do it like this so i just controlled x there highlighted and control x and control v and you can just do it like that make it a bit more simple one line instead or you could have the in total up here with your other variables it's up to you where you want to put it i like to just do it like this it's straightforward easy to understand now we just need to output it so see out if you if you remember how to do it you know just go ahead try and try and step a step ahead of me you know it's better if you get in front and that uh, lets you know that you are learning all right so we'll go say out answer and then you want to go two more of those and we'll just say total there and we'll just say and learn done all right, so that will that is a very very basic calculator. So what we're doing is we're just going, we're getting the first user input, putting it in here, and then we're going to plus it to the second user input, and then we're going to give the answer. So let's give it a shot, eh? F five, enter. Why don't we just throw up a calculator here? Just to make sure. All right, let's do a you know fairly 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 large lumbar. Eh? Um, say nine six five seven four three two. Why why not? And four four eight. Yep, sure. So what was that? Nine six five seven four two three. Holy shit, that looks bigger than what it actually is. No, that's it. <laughs> Plus four eight five one two. So is that right? Nine million seven hundred and five thousand nine hundred and forty four. Look at that. The calculator works. Unless my Windows calculator is broken as well, but who knows? <laughs> so that that that's basic operations. Um you can definitely expand this when we get into more tutorials where we're going to start talking about if and switch statements. You can start asking the user for um, the actual character, like uh, character meaning like the minus or the plus or the division or the time sign. And once you get into those, you can start asking, oh, is it times? And then you can, and then the user will say times or plus or equals and then the computer will just update it and go all right he wants to times these two value values together instead of plusing them together all right so fairly straightforward fairly easy program but it gets you into more into uh, a more practical type of program for you you learn a bit more about integers and that and also the um, also like continue continuing to build on that foundation that we started last video about uh, see out and see in all right um next episode though we're going to bring all this together and we're going to build a more practical program that you could actually use yourself um i i made it it's a it's a money count money counter very very simple program i made it for the tutorials anyway and basically all, all it will do is it will ask you how many um coins you have say uh, i'm from australia so my coin currency is a lot different from americans i'm pretty sure americans have pennies dimes and nickels and all that type of stuff i just have five cent pieces 10 cent 20 cent 50 cent 
dollar two dollars so i'm gonna just do those if you have a different currency definitely definitely um follow along i'll do a quick i'll i'll show you how to do um different values they're very very straightforward so you'll easily follow along um but as soon as um you build it you'll you'll see i'll show you a quick demonstration though of it let's just see if i can quickly find it um just a very quick demonstration nothing serious don't worry about all that so yeah like uh here we go so i'm just gonna say i have two five four eight and ten and two so i have nineteen dollars and forty cents you know Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. That's uh, that's the next lesson though. So I hope you stick around and watch that. Um, well, awesome. Like, subscribe, and definitely leave a comment if you have any trouble whatsoever. All right, all right. Have a good one. Bye.